present about it and hopefully maybe grow some interest so that we can maybe start one of these in Korea, maybe here in Guangzhou, maybe in Seoul, or maybe in Busan. Uh, quickly, I'd like to point out that uh, I heard about, actually joined this GIC talk after going to my friend Ryan's GIC talk maybe three weeks ago, a month ago, called Pecha Kucha. It's um, happening tonight. The first Pecha Kucha is happening tonight at Salt Gallery. So if any of you guys are interested, it should be a lot of fun. It's going to be nine presenters talking about, hey, Nate, talking about uh, any and all things that they're interested, interested in. So uh, this is a different format of presentation. Uh, and hopefully, I can garner some interest in this. And we can try to present a house of genius somewhere in Belgium or somewhere in Korea. Uh, I'd like to start out by showing you a video that hopefully gives you a better background than I can give you, and then I'll explain more afterwards. So let's just start with the video. Can you uh, full screen? No bios, but I hadn't really thought through what that meant. And I think probably most people coming out of this talk about how wonderful that was. Not knowing what anybody does or kind of their background really opens you up to listening carefully to everyone and letting all of that kind of feedback in. Yeah, it was a little mysterious, which was kind of the attraction of it. Like, okay, you can't reveal your name or where you work or your background or anything like that. Yeah, you know, there's something exciting about watching an idea be born. So somebody says one little thing, and then someone else picks up on that and runs it sort of in another direction, and then two other people add to it. And really watching the birth of an idea, I think, is a wondrous thing. And the great thing is there's someone who's going to go try and make this into their business. Hey, my name is David Carlos. I am the CTO of my own page, which was the focus of tonight's uh, presentation. But my expectation in coming in was that I would have an opportunity to present my business, my business model, uh, but that I would not actually know who I was talking to. That was very intriguing, so I kind of threw it out there, and uh, all of a sudden I'm getting feedback from all these people with different areas of expertise. They're really interested and passionate about giving their advice, and next thing you know, I've got new ideas, new business models to pursue, new customer bases to go after, and I'm not going to sleep very well tonight. I definitely recommend it. Um, I'm going to 
it's not a question of control about it. If somebody asked me if I would recommend this event, my answer would be wholeheartedly yes. Yeah, and it was really great to be in a room with so many people who had such interesting things to say. <laughs> So that's the video on the main page of House of Genius. I, I wanted to point them out that the two founders were in that video. Uh, I'm not sure where Tomas is from, but I know that uh, my friend Tim is from Boulder, which is where I went to school. And I got lucky and just happened to meet him one day, uh, just in passing. And uh, I was fortunate enough to be a part of one of these, and I got to be a note taker to many of them. And it's a really great event. It happens once a month in a major city. So now they have maybe, um, I want to say like 30 different locations internationally. Um, I'll show a picture later of different locations. I know in Asia, they're only currently doing it in Hong Kong and in Singapore. And I'd love to see it come to Korea. Um, it's a professional networking night. So the goal is for a startup to bounce ideas off of other people. Uh, the way it works is that they'll have three presenters and 20 people there giving their feedback. Um, I think I'll go ahead and play another video and then continue to tell you more about it. Uh, if anyone has any questions, I know the format is to write them down, but go ahead and just raise your hand at any point. Um, if you notice, they were all standing, sitting in a square and the idea is for someone to stand up, present an idea, okay, so I have this company, we've been around for two years, we're making this much money, uh, or whatever. Here's what we want, the direction we want to go in. Uh, we just love to hear your feedback. And everyone along the way gives their idea, and then they go to the next person. Uh, but they're not supposed to tell you where they're from, how old they are, uh, anything about themselves. So the goal is anonymity, which I know can be or really fun. Um, yeah, go ahead and play the next video. This is, sorry, GIC Amsterdam, uh, House of Genius Amsterdam, just to show that it is now an international uh, nonprofit.
that's why it is generally in these big places where all those people were probably working, I don't know, 50 hour weeks and they don't get out much. And so this is their way to get out and meet new people and continue talking about their ideas. So that's where I could see where that may not be great for Guangzhou, at least for the foreigner community. I would like to see if it was somewhere like Guangzhou for it to be a purely Korean one where everyone's speaking Korean and I mean, I think that's the only way it worked here. In Seoul, it would work possibly in English. But here we go, we have the different locations it currently is. Uh, Albuquerque is, so America, Europe, America, India, America, 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 America. Hong Kong, China, Turkey, uh, Spain. Um, let's go to the next slide. Oh, okay. So, these are just the people that are currently um, sponsors for it right now. Uh, when I checked back like a year ago, it was totally different names. I mean, Bomb Power Group is always going to be on top because that's Tim's company. They are a web design company that does quite well. But as you can see, there's some pretty big names getting behind it now. Um, and it's really growing in size. Uh, this page is just to show that it's growing in size. Oops. So this is the lady that is helping grow it. I think she's the only person at House of Genius who is not volunteering. She's actually working and making money for it. Her name is Jackie Dietrich, and I was there for her uh, presentation. She is currently getting paid. She's going around the world and trying to spread House of Genius to different places. So if it is in Hong Kong right now, it's probably because she was there starting one. And if it is in Amsterdam, that's because she was probably there starting one. Um, She's the person to contact if we are interested in trying one here in Seoul. Uh, you can always contact her through LinkedIn like this. Uh, I put her email in the last slide as well. Um, apparently I have some notifications that I haven't checked. Ah, this is Tim. And this is him in a helicopter, I believe, doing barrel rolls. Uh, he's the guy that I met that got me into it. Uh, I just happened to be walking by him one day. Actually, he was backpacking and couch surfing at my friend's house, and I said, hey man, do you want to go to a party? And I found out throughout the night that he actually is a pretty impressive guy, and I was fortunate enough to start doing House of Genius and being a note taker. So when you do House of Genius, you're only supposed to do one, and then you're done. But I was lucky enough to get to do many of them um, throughout the summer in Boulder and Denver, Colorado. And let's see what else I have. Oh, just more about the founder. I don't know Toma, but Tim is just always in putting his hands into other work. Here he made a documentary about the Gorge, which is this big music venue in America. Um, just proud of that guy. Oh, same guy, uh, Tim Williams, also doing another nonprofit video. So car to go is this like rental car thing in America, and he basically drove across America renting a car and then going to the next place. More to reiterate how impressive this dude is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is his TED Talk uh, at CU Boulder where I was. It's a TEDx, so it's not a TED Talk as much as a TEDx. That means that it, uh, I don't know if you guys, does anyone know what a TED Talk is? Yeah. So this one is a TEDx, which means that TED allows it and sanctions it, I think is the right word. But it is not an official TED Talk. Those are done in Los Angeles. I believe. Here he's talking about the idea, right here, meet Jack Reynolds, bringing out your potential. Uh, he's very big on having an alter ego that would do things that you would generally not do. For instance, coming to Korea. maybe. Nate is afraid to come to Korea, but his alter ego knows that that's a worthwhile opportunity. So that's a good TED Talk. It's not, I didn't get to see it, but if you go on YouTube, you can watch it. Oh, uh, one more time, same lady. This is where you would contact. See, unfortunately, I'm not going to be staying in Korea. I'll be moving on to another country. But I'd love to see House of Genius start in Korea. I think that'd be really awesome. Um, if you're interested, Please ask questions or go online to find out more about it. Uh, 
That is my, tech, my uh, entire speech presentation. Thank you.